guys. Today we're going to go over our ZH20Ds again. Uh, something that I wanted to show everybody that we didn't go over in the last one was the two-speed option. So we've had a lot of requests for two-speed and finally we got that option. And I wanted to show you a few of the differences. The difference being the drive motors, obviously. But these drive motors are going to look a lot like your Bobcat drive motors. You got your oil fill, you got your regular drive, you got your uh, sprocket is recessed here. So when you look on the back, your entire drive motor does not stick out the back now. So when you look in a standard unit, a standard unit has all the drive here, and then it's just the drive sprocket on the end running off the, sp the spindle, where a two-speed, it's, uh, let's say more protected, I guess would be the word. And then obviously two-speed is gonna give you faster travel. So I'm gonna just give you a quick video, not that it's a huge difference from one to the other, but it does make a difference. I mean, again, we're not making race cars, but for those of you that wanna go a little bit faster, two-speed is an option, it's not standard. The other thing I wanna show you real quick, if you do a retractable track unit, because of the wings, the blade sticks out further. Some folks, this is something that they would rather see. So as a standard on a retractable track, this is a further extended blade. So you have more room from the track to the blade. So if you have a problem seeing your blade in the standard unit, which I mean, honestly, you're sitting on top of it, but you can see the difference. So this one, we're six inches away and the other one, we're one foot and three inches away. Okay. So just something else to consider as you guys are putting orders in coming into spring, we do have that ability, uh, which we do standard on a retractable track and it would be an option, a longer blade option on those. So I'm gonna give a quick video here. We're gonna go and just show you two speed, which is gonna be very simple front and back and see the difference. And remember to glow plug your units. I get a lot of calls every year, people saying their machine doesn't start. If your machine cranks more than a few times, it is not glow plugged long enough. Glow plug is to the left. You can hear that uh, fuel pump going, that is not your glow plug. Your glow plugs are something small that get hot on top of your head. So just something else to kind of food for thought. Now what you won't do is run two speed when you're trying to do anything heavy or hard. That's like putting your truck in high gear and trying to do a burnout. It just doesn't happen, you burn stuff up. So whenever you're running anything in two speed, I don't care if it's your Bobcat skid loader. You know, they're light grading, flat level, travel, stuff like that, that's what it's for. It is not to try to go into a pile of dirt and push it and not go anywhere. It won't go anywhere, I promise you. Cause like I said, your truck doesn't start in fourth, fifth, sixth gear, it starts in first, okay? So same kind, same concept when you're running these machines. Make sure if you're doing anything hard pushing, hard traveling, hard turning, you are in low. And then your average travel, your average grading, stuff like that, you can use your two speed. So just something else we want to show you guys for 2023. A lot of cool stuff coming out. And uh, if you guys are interested, give us a call 570-765-9338. We appreciate you guys' business. We'll see you later.